So in this question, you have five statements and we need to find out how many statements given above are required to determine the oldest person or persons. So we need to find out how many of these five are required to find out the oldest among them. Right? So first thing you need to identify is how many people are there. That's very important, right? You need to know how many people are there, right? So you just need to list down, analyze the five statements and list down how many people are there. You can see A and B, two people A, B. Then you can see C, D. You have some information about C and D. Then you have E. Then you have F, right? D is already covered and F and A is already covered, right? So there are total six people. So, this five statements are about six people, right? So, I'm assuming that there are only six people. So, out of six, you need to find out who is the oldest. So, what you need to do first is, you just need to figure out what are the statements that are mandatory. So, clearly I can say that if you analyze these five statements, statement three is actually mandatory. Why? Because this is the only statements that give you information about E. Right? That's the only statement that give you information about E. Similarly, I can say that statement 2 is also mandatory because that's the only statement that give you information about C. The rest of the statements are not giving any information about C. So, definitely I can say that 2 and 3 are mandatory. Also, I can say statement 1 is the only statement that give information about B, right? See, that's only information about B. The rest of the statements will not give any information about, about B. So definitely statement 1 is also needed. So that means you have information about C, D, B and E. Also A is also there and one more is left as F. Okay. Now let's, let's see with respect to these statements. What are the relations that you can obtain? Okay, so E is the youngest. So there is no doubt about it. So E will be the youngest person. C and D are of same age. So age of C is equal to age of D. And first statement is saying that A is older than B. So you can say that right now A is older than B and B definitely will be older than E. So I know the comparison of three people that is uh, A, B and E. I know how which one is the oldest among them. A is the oldest. But I don't know about C, D and F. You need to know a connection. So you have two uh, statements left. Four and five. So if I take statement five. It's given that F is older than A. So that is the statement five definitely you need to use. Because this statement is... Establishing a connection between already you made a relationship. So, statement 5 is definitely establishing a relationship with F and A. So, you have a connection here, right? So, I know that F is older than A. So, one more person is included. I know F is older than A. So, now you have uh, two people left C and D. I know their age are same, but I don't know where they are, right? How, with respect to the age, how, like, you know, uh, we don't know, like, you know, uh, where is C and where is D. So, if I use the fourth statement here, it's given that F is younger than D. That means D is older than F, right? The same statement, F is younger than D means D is older than F. So, if I use fourth statement, I can establish a relationship between the connection that you, relationship you have ex, uh, obtained with C and D, right? So, I know that F is younger than uh, D, that means D is older and C and D are of same age. So right now, out of the six people, you know the relationship with respect to their age. So who is the oldest among them? There are two people, C and D are the oldest. So you need all the five statements here to establish or determine the oldest person among the uh, six people. So your answer is option D is the right answer here. So this is also a reasoning based question.